Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Aztec Extreme Water Chill Water Cooling Kit. Included is installation software, a manual for each component, 3 meters of half inch tubing, water wetter, anti-algae fluid, a radiator, two 120 millimeter fans, a pump, three water blocks, one for the CPU, chipset, and GPU, and all the necessary materials needed for installation. The chipset, GPU, and CPU water blocks all have an acrylic top and a thick, smooth, solid copper base, as well as these quick connect fittings. Very easy but secure to install tubes into these. And all the components in the system have these quick connect fittings. Make sure the tube is cut fair, push it all the way in and it's installed. Now the chipset water block can be installed on any Intel Pentium 4 motherboard or AMD motherboard. The GPU water block can be installed on any current video card and this particular CPU water block can be installed on the socket 478, 462, 754, 939 and 940. Now to the right here there are a couple extras. These are just acrylic tops so you can remove this top and fit these on. This one here is a little bit of a smaller footprint for AMD and this one's for the socket 775. The integrated 12 volt pump and reservoir is very sophisticated. It can be connected directly to your computer system via the included USB cable and the water chill software is great for easy on the fly configurations. Additionally, fans and two included thermal sensors can be connected directly to the unit. It's also available in a number of different colors. Now let's have a closer look at the unit. It has quick connect fittings for fast, safe and easy tube setup. Thankfully no unnecessary wiring is needed in or outside the case with this particular unit because the power is provided by a standard 4 pin power supply lead. Here's the ground wire connection which gets connected on any metal part of the case. This is the power on cable which gets connected between pins 13 and 14 on the power supplies motherboard connection. They also include a base plate with four rubber suction cups. You can just put these on the base plate and I've got the base plate right now on the unit. Well, you can see here you can easily pop this off and then install the four rubber suction cup feet on the bottom and that will cut down on vibrations. An optional LCD can be connected enabling a custom view of settings. Finally, this unit has EMC shielding which ensures no possibility of electromagnetic radiation to interfere with hard drives, monitor or other nearby components. The system is filled with distilled water through the reservoir. At the top there is a cap. To remove the cap just turn it to an open position and take it off. Next insert the water wetter anti-algae fluid and then just top the system up as required with distilled water. Now have a listen to the pump. The 120 millimeter dual Black Ice Pro 2 radiator is all copper and like all the other components has these quick connect half inch fittings. Now this radiator also comes with two 120 millimeter fans which can be easily installed. With both of these 120 millimeter fans installed on the radiator, have a listen to them at max spin. When installing the CPU water block, first remove the CPU retention bracket that's on the motherboard. Next, carefully place the CPU into the socket and apply a thin coat of thermal compound. Next, insert two bolts with two nylon washers over each up through the motherboard. 
another two washers over the bolts and then two guides screw each of them down onto the bolt carefully slip the CPU water block over both of these guides now slip two springs over the guides then these two thumb screws and put a nylon washer over both of these and tighten them down evenly on each side. When installing the GPU water block, first remove the existing video card cooler. Remove the existing thermal compound and apply new. With this particular video card, you can leave the RAM sinks on there and just remove the cooler. Some cards you can't do this with. If you cannot, I would recommend getting some RAM sinks for the memory. Next, insert two nylon washers over these two bolts. Insert the bolt through the video card, then through the GPU water block. Then place another nylon washer, a spring, another nylon washer, and a thumb screw on each bolt. Finally, tighten each thumb screw evenly until the GPU water block is securely against the GPU. Remember when cutting the tubes to cut them to length. Don't have any excess tubing because that will mean the system will be that much more inefficient. Also with this you want to test for leaks. You want to do that normally outside the system. If you want to put it inside the case just leave your hardware off, turn the pump on and then check to be safe and certain that there are no leaks whatsoever. You do not want to have leaks when you turn your computer hardware on. Now let me show you the direction of flow. It comes out of the radiator as cool water going into the CPU water block then from that into the GPU water block and then from that into the pump as warm water. Then it will go to the radiator, the radiator will cool that down and this cycle will continue over and over. I didn't install the chipset water block because it wouldn't fit on my board and that's because the video card is right on top of the chipset. So before getting this chipset water block be certain that it will fit your particular motherboard. Now the kit overall is very very good. All the components are very high quality, they fit together easily and securely as well performance is top notch. Overall this is a 100% kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go to the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care.